<laughs> What's up, YouTube Revolution? Zomfected Gaming 349 at your fingertips. Before we jump right onto this topic, make sure you go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel and ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach at your fingertips when new watchdogs uploads arrive. Alright, so. So earlier today. Um, it's around 11.27 p.m. right now. Um, uh, Ubisoft did their AMA. So it's April 1st right now. They did an AMA, Ask Me Anything sort of thing for Watch Dogs Legion and the Watch Dogs Legion Online. So um, this is actually some really interesting stuff and I'm actually happy that they actually did this AMA because we got some really good stuff. So there's people in the comments asking. <clears throat> All right, so it says, what is the PvP mode known as Extraction about? Extraction is a PvP mode where where players must de uh, steal a data drive, race through the city while in pursuit by Albion to reach an area where you need to upload the data drive. The mode puts emph emphasis on vehicle hacking, shooting, and evading felony. Alright, so, sorry about that and stuff, my throat is a little bit kind of like horse-like right now, but um, that's what it is, so, so basically it sounds exactly kind of like the, um, the armored truck uh, event from Watch Dogs 2, which I'm actually really happy, so it be, you're basically going to steal a data drive instead of money. You race through the city while in Albion pursuit to reach an area where you need to upload the data drive. So basically you're uploading something as you're going through and I think players can hack you and make your car, your, your, I mean your car drive back. So you can hack the car back to you and then you can just shoot at their tires or something or stuff like that while you're also getting shot at by Albion at the same time. That's actually going to be really fun and really interesting. I hope it's going to be very hectic and crazy. So, yeah, extraction. That's that. <clears throat> Alright, so. Uh, more people are asking. Are there any plans to add additional unlockable skills in the tech tree in future seasons to online? Given there will be an overabundance of tech points available to all players in future seasons if there is nothing other than characters to spend on them. Um, if not, will there be additional ways to tr spend tech points added in the game in the future? I think you're meaning influence points, but let's not nitpick. Alright, so, there are two online specific tech upgrades coming shortly. One of these is a deployable shield for you and your teammate. The other is a small drone that follows you around and hacks nearby enemies. In addition, we plan to add new characters for you to find and recruit in the online free roam. Alright, so yeah, that's what um, the Watch Dogs dev said. Um, so yeah, this is Latish Tlenathan. These, that's what the guy, that's what the, that's who was mostly um, hosting this uh, AMA. I forget the other guy's name, but I know who Latish is. Um, that's what they are, and it's actually really interesting. A deployable shield, the deployable shield, I am actually wondering what the, exactly that, what that would look like. And also a small drone that follows you around and hacks nearby enemies. I wonder what that is exactly. Alright, and so... There's another person asking this, will we be able to change an operative's, fa an operative's face with advanced character customization coming later this month? You will be able to customize the following, hairstyle and color, facial hairstyle and color, piercings, makeup and nail polish, and tattoos, and that's what Latish said. Alright, so basically you can change your beard you can change your beard color so basically you could go with um, if you wanted to you could probably go with pink hair or you can go with a pink beard or you can go with any sort of color you want you want to go wacky you go with a green beard you go with any silly type of uh, like thing like basically kinda like what GTA is and stuff because in GTA online you can do that exact same stuff and it's actually really really interesting um, 
a lot of people are gonna love that customization. Imagine if you are an old person, an old grandma, and you make her like dye her hair green or brown or I, I don't know, whatever. The customization in this game is amazing. Like you can do whatever you want with the customization. All right, so another person said, any chances of future collabs with other Ubisoft games? I think games like The Crew 2 and maybe Siege or Division, for example, could benefit by being in the game for sure. Plus, a Crew and Legion collab could be a way to introduce online racing, deep car customization, and more cars. Whilst a, a collab with um, Tom Clancy's the division game will be will provide exclusive items for Legion or Siege or items from Tom Clancy Division 2, Siege coming in Legion like more masks, outfits, limited time operatives um, from Siege reworked for Legion, maybe even Sam Fisher, am I right people, a way to provide more LTL and non-LTL guns for players and reintroduce the 3D printer back into the game after it was cut. Uh, their possibilities are endless. Legion can be Ubisoft's Grand Theft Auto Online if they utilize this correctly. Um, plus, give gives us other games games time to shine or hype players up. All right. So basically, that guy was saying all that, but uh, Ubisoft did not reply to that one though. But maybe they saw it. I don't know if they did or not, but. Um, these I these are I uh, screen I screenshotted these maybe I might go look back at the uh, AMA and see if they answered anything different. All right, so another person said, "Can you tell us any details about what to expect from the DJ and the first responder characters coming at the end of this month?" The DJ uh, features two abilities. The first is an ability to reduce cooldowns of other players near you in online. The second is an area of effect blast of music that disrupts enemies so basically you can blast music in their ears that's what's really cool so basically you hack something or their their comms or whatever and you just blast music in their ear and so it says also too the first responder has a temporary shield that can be used on either yourself or another nearby player this character also comes equipped with a special crowbar as a melee weapon. Alright, so that's really interesting. More with the shields, I'm actually wondering exactly what exactly will the shields look like. Are they going to be like um, the Division or are they going to be some sort of like um, sci-fi shield or something that just pops up as an AR or something. AR like invisible shield like we don't know yet. And also, these people are also saying, will the Assassin's Creed missions have Abstergo in it? And um, the Watch Dogs devs, Letish Lenathan says, Templars won't let us answer. So, what does that mean exactly? We don't really know. He's just being probably funny right now. The Templars won't let us answer, so who knows? Maybe, yeah, because Templars are Abstergo, I think. That's what they are, so, you know they probably might be in the story if it makes it makes sense obviously because assassin's creed the templars the um, pretty much abstergo they're a major part of the assassin's creeds for sure um and what i said i hope so since they're a big part of the assassin's creed franchise imagine they team up with albion that's what i said in the ama all right so that's all i wanted to talk about for today um so uh, be sure to like Subscribe, ding that bell icon really hard so I can always stay within fast reach of your fing- Uh, wait a minute. So I can always stay within fast reach of your fingertips because you are going to be watching my content for Watch Dogs content. Um, yeah, my throat is a bit uh, horse-like right now. It's uh, hard to speak and I'm sorry about that, but uh, Gaming 349 over and out.